Hey, it's Mara from the AV Club, and I'm here with Nay Palm. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are What's you? Up? We were just talking about your song, and you were telling me about an event you're going to play in London. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't done it yeah. yet. <laughs> I'm still here in America. First question is, describe Donald Trump in one word. One word. <laughs> Vulgar. Oh, that's a good one. Second question is, have you ever walked out of a movie? I've fallen asleep at, at the cinemas before, but I've never walked out. Actually, that's not true. I have walked out. <laughs> um, it, it was a film called Spring Break or something. Spring Breakers or something. Yeah. Something by James Franco. Yeah, and like it was just kind of like a random, like we just me and a friend rocked up to the cinema and it was like, what is screening now? Yeah, and had no concept of what it was. I was like, yeah, I can't handle this. So we left and then just snuck into another film, <laughs> which was also uneventful. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? That's question three. Uh, I like Never Too Much by Luther Vandross, mostly just because of like the stock footage that usually goes <laughs> with it at karaoke <laughs> places, just like random footage of San Francisco or something. Um, I also, I mean like Bohemian Rhapsody is like the the close, the, the yeah. like valiant end of, course. of the night. Um, yeah, I'm a massive karaoke fan though. Yeah, are yeah. you a private room person or like a bar in front of everybody? Kind of both, but private room because then you don't have to wait around for a million people to like sing the never ending story yeah. theme song and <laughs> shit. Like. A bunch of drunk girls to get up and like sing Spice Girls together or something and it's just like, fuck you. Well, I mean like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm here for that, but like yeah. you know, generally like if you've got a big crew of people and um, you know, sometimes you'll be waiting like an hour or, yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, so private booth. Next question is, what would your last meal be? Probably like Ethiopian food. Ooh. Because it's like you have injera and you've got like a selection of different shit. Yeah? Yeah. Or just like a really good mango. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe they have, maybe I have to like eat it in Madagascar. <laughs> Apparently they have the most mangoes in the whole world. Good to know. Jamaica's <laughs> got like a lot. But Madagascar has the most, <laughs> so maybe it'd be like a way to buy some time. <laughs> like, I will only eat this <laughs> one really rare type of mango <laughs> from Madagascar. And so they have to, like, sauce it, and then I have more time to live. <laughs> and then the last question is, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? I mean, there is a quote by Khalil Gibran. He's like a Sufi poet that I really resonated with from a young age. Mm -hmm. and on the record that I just released instead of like a massive thank yous thing, I just kind of put it there to like, for other people to take on board. But it's, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. Mm -hmm. And basically it's just like, yeah, any any trauma that you're going through or anything that is, is really like frustrating or hard or traumatic or emotional, like usually on the other side of that is some kind of wisdom and self-understanding and so like rather than just like victimizing yourself seeing it as an opportunity to evolve which is why we're here so I guess like that kind of like yeah that's really helped helped me a lot I guess it's advice from a Sufi poet but it wasn't like I met him because he's not <laughs> alive anymore <laughs> well it's yeah. good all the same and thank you so much for coming in and for talking to us yeah thank you <laughs> thanks guys